welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. Today is Wednesday the 21st of July 2021 and we are currently at Swan Lane Wharf in, um, in Coventry on the Coventry Canal. So the jobs for not necessarily today but for this week are um, I want to get the worktop cut so let, let me just turn you around and, uh, and we'll get into it. So um, welcome to the video anyway, by the way. Um, if you enjoy it, then please consider giving it a like. Um, if you've got something to say, comment down below, much appreciated. And uh, as always, if you're not subscribed, then please consider doing so. Okay, let's turn you around and uh, I'll show you what the, uh, the plan is for this video. Not necessarily for today, because I'm gonna be here for a couple of days. And yeah, let me show you. Right, so we're uh, we're still doing the kitchen um, today, or this video is going to be the worktops. Um, so I need to get a full measurement, cut the work worktop to shape, and then cut out the sink. Um, a couple of you guys have mentioned about making a template, um, either out of MDF or out of cardboard, and uh, I think that's a jolly good idea. So that's going to be the plan for today. Um, is to get some of the cardboard from under the front there that I did keep it and it's all stored under there so I'm going to get some of the cardboard cut it to shape uh, make a template and see how I get on um, the length isn't an issue it's just around the sink it's just screwing it around the sink that's going to be the pain is around here um, I think the plan is now I'm going to pull the sink right out flush with the front of this uh, with the front here and then leave a little gap at the back here um, and there is a reason for that and um, when I do the reason you'll see and you'll understand so right let's uh, let's have a go at making a template shall we we've got some tape around here somewhere which I, can, which I can tape it up with hidden around these boxes there's a roll of tape down the back there and I've got some silver tape here as well and I've got a bit of masking tape so <clears throat> we shall uh, we shall struggle through no doubt so right let's uh let's kick off and make a start and uh yeah so we'll see how we go so this week i should be here um today wednesday thursday and probably friday morning as well um and then we'll see how we get on friday um yeah and that'll be it just three days so we'll see how we get on anyway so right let's get on with it Right, I, um, I gave up on the idea of building a template. It just got too fiddly and too fussy. Yeah, I showed you a little bit, but um, yeah, didn't turn out great. So 
What I've done now is I've put a bit of tape on here and marked up the lines, um, measured all up, circled out the corners as well to get a nice, um, nice rounded corner. Um, I'm still going to have to cut it in the boat because it's too heavy for me to lift out. So I'm going to cut it in bits, uh, move the board around and cut it. And I'm also going to clamp in a strip. So I've got a bit of a wooden strip here, look. Um, going to clamp the strip in place so I can run the uh, the saw along the strip. So it'd be a nice clean cut uh, without it wiggling off. And then I'll just do the corners with a jigsaw. So I'll do the long bits with the circular saw and then the, the corner bits with the jigsaw. So, um, right, stand by. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay, Thursday the 22nd of July 2021. Um, didn't get much more done than what you saw yesterday. Um, still doing the work surface. Um, I've got to trim this edge here. So it, when I cut it out, it's a bit of a tight fit with the sink, which you probably noticed yesterday. So today is gonna to be a case of just um, cleaning up this edge, making it a bit easier to fit the sink in. Um, so what I wanted to do is so I want to try and lift it so I only have to lift the work surface not the sink because the sinks heavy heavier than the work surface so what I might do is to make life easier for now get the saw out and cut that end off um, get the right measurements and cut the end off I'm only gonna have a little bit of an overhang probably about that much which is about nine centimeters uh, that means I cut 60 centimeters off the end so that's um, Let's get to it and see see what we do today. All right? Okay. That's trimmed on the edge now. I need to smarten that up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do anything other than oil it. Um, well, whatever I cover the surface with, I'll do the sides with as well. But I'm not going to do anything else to that. I'm not going to put an edge on it or anything. I'm just going to clean up, sand off the sharp edges. I might, uh, I might ease the edges off a little bit. Um, might do that. So that's how the sink's going to sit. Got stuff. There is a slightly bigger gap there than there is down there, but I can live with that. That I'm happy with. Nice tight fit all the way around apart from that. So I'm quite happy with that. 
So when I said it's going to stick above the counter, it's not massively high. You know, that's um, that's my what the sink is my waist height. So if I just put that there, look, that's my waist height. So that's that's plenty high enough for me. Um, I think Lady PJ will be okay with that as well. Um, and then now, this let me just put this on here, look. So the board I've cut out, I'm going to trim it down and um, turn it into a chopping board. So the top bit will be a chopping board uh, and what I might also do is just shorten it a bit. Um, now, but yeah, I'll make that into a chopping board and it will sit slightly inside the sink. So half of this will be in the sink and half it will be out so you can still grab it and pick it up yeah that'd be quite good i think but yeah that's not too bad it's not screwed in yet but i think that looks quite good right i think the next job is put the door on there okay stand by is a bit of a mess but how good does that look ah, got a bit of cardboard under there look let's lift that up over right it's time for me to go home so I'll be back here again tomorrow okay catch you later um, today is Friday the 23rd of July 2021 um, and as you guys probably know we're at Swan Lane Wharf on Swan Lane in Coventry so I've got most of this side of the kitchen sorted now um, let me just have a quickly show you. So that's all in. Um, if I just put you down here a second, I'll move this out of the way and you'll be able to get a better view. So I'll just tilt you down. There you go, look at that. Right, so the sink is in. Um, just having a bit of a tidy up this morning more than anything else. Because um, when I went home yesterday, I did leave the boat in a bit of a mess. So let me just sort this out. Right, so. We have the sink in. It's not completely finished yet, but it is in place. And this is gonna be its final resting place now, is gonna be here. I have actually toyed with the idea of turning the sink round because the drainer is on this side. Uh, and as you guys know, the boat leans to the back, which means the water's gonna end up here. So what I'm gonna quickly do when I've finished messing about is I'm gonna get a spirit level in there and just see which way the water's gonna flow. So if it flows that way into the drain, that's fine. If it's gonna flow that way, then I'll just turn the sink around and have it. And what it will just mean is I won't have the um, the wooden bit that's normally here. I won't have, I'll just leave it at the top there and these little holes I'll just fill with a bit of white silicon and you won't notice it then, they'll disappear, you know, so. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, you saw with a picture earlier with the drawer fronts on, they're good. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you about the mistake I made. Um, but there you go. So I'm already chipping the front slot. I've already chipped it there. Look at that. How have I managed to do that? Oh well. Right. So today's job is um, have a good tidy up. I need to sort all my tools out off here. 
um, have a good tidy up, sort my tools out. Um, that cardboard there needs to go in the back of the car because I'm going to the tip Tuesday. Um, so either today or Monday that needs to go in the back of the car. Um, got a few other bits. And then what I might do is I might make the drawers and fit the drawers on here and also put the doors on so that, um, yeah, yeah, put the doors on here so that uh, I can think about getting that in the right place and then I can get the work top cut. I know how big the fridge is, how wide it is, so I can make the space available for that. And yeah, I've got lots to do. I've got lots to do today, so um, let's see what we get. I don't think there'll be much work to show you actually on video, but um, we'll have a chat when I've finished messing about anyway, so. Right, okay, let's get into it. Yeah, feeling positive today, although I'm knackered. <laughs> All right, let's get into the video, or get into this, this part of the video anyway. All right, guys. Okay, so I've pulled this, uh, this carcass away from the wall for a second. And what I'm gonna do is cut the board that fits against that wall there. So I need to trim off um, four centimeters. So what I've done is I've set my saw up and I've put the guard up. <clears throat> and if I measure the guard across, to the actual cutting blade, it's four centimeters, four, 4.5 centimeters to be exact, you know, how much you can see there. So that's where it, that's where we are now. If I just put you in here a minute, you can see, just tilt you down up. So just double check, look, put the saw against, and there's the cutting blade there, look, so that's four and a half centimeters. So that's perfect. So that edge there should, should keep me on track, so. So, set you up a little bit. Right, mind your ears. Okay, so I've got the board upside down because it cuts upwards. So it circulates backwards like that, the saw does, and it cuts on the upward stroke. So it will cut as it comes up through the board. So the underside, which is the face, won't get chipped. It will just be the, uh, the top side. If there's any chip out, it will just be the top side that gets chipped out. Down. We don't need that much sticking through. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's have a go with this then. You ready? Mind your ears. Um, don't forget to wear eye protection. Okay. You've got your mask on. Eye protection. Safety. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm getting covered in dust there. So I'll tell you what I am going to do quickly. Shot back. Yeah. Right, mind your ears again. Okay, so we offer this up against the wall now. Oops, dropped it. Okay. Charlie's having to go outside, look, barking at something, probably the ducks. Okay, if you notice now, the wall is not exactly straight at the back. And it's 
not very straight at the front here either. So if I line it up with the wall, just bring it out and the bottom there, line it up. And then what I'll do is when I screw it in place, I'll just push this top piece in a slightly. You'll have a little hole on the floor, but you won't notice that anyway. Once the floor's in, you won't notice that. And the back, you won't see the back. It'll be fine, the back will be fine. You know, that little bit won't make no difference. Okay, that's one board cut. There he is, look. I think he's just gone down and shouted at the cat. He's had a haircut, look. Ain't ya? <clears throat> Scalped him. Cut all his hair off. Yeah, he's sniffing. Sniffing for the cat he is. Little monkey. Right, back in the boat we go. Right, so if we just put the unit back over now and have a measure up. Get rid of the vacuum of that. out the way as well. So if we move this back over now. This needs to be set height wise. It's um it's I've not adjusted the legs yet so the legs aren't the right height so I need to flip it over and um, adjust the legs so they're right. If we just move that across too bad look okay and I know I need about 50 to 55 centimeters for the fridge so I'm going to leave 55 and then that'll give me plenty of space either side there so I need to put another board on the end here so I need 55 so the board is two centimeters or thereabouts thick if I do 57, it would be about right then. Yeah. See, that's a lot shallower there, look. So that wall isn't straight. Well, I knew that anyway, so I need 57 at least at the back of the bridge. And then the front will have to be whatever the front is. So the front's one centimetre wider, so that door is, um, the bulkhead is one centimetre out of line. But that's not an issue, it's a boat, you know. We'll, uh, we'll get it about right. So if I cut another one of them boards now to match this, so I need that to be, if I measure from the bottom then. Seven out. Yeah, 57 centimetres out as well. So if I get another board, So I'm cutting four centimetres off this one. I'll cut four and a half off that one. I'm cutting four off this one. Yeah. So I could even cut four and a half and that give me a half a millimetre, half a centimetre, sorry, to play with. So if I bring this across the <clears throat> Let's bring the vacuum cleaner out again. some kind of dust extraction, although it's not great, it does a little bit of a job. So both boards are having four and a half centimetres taken off them. So let's turn this one round. Right the edge. Turn the vacuum cleaner on, right, mind your ears. Um, <coughs> you guys got your safety glasses on? All right, let's begin.
So let's have a measure up now, see how much gap we've got between the two boards. Yeah, so at the back we've got 55 and at the front we've got 57. Which isn't a major issue, it's not a major problem. Um, you won't really notice it once the fridge is in. So this one's got to come out a little bit anyway because of the, um, the drawer fronts. So that will sit like that. There you go. Right, let's uh, come back, flipping this upside down and um, seeing how much we need to uh, add on to it. Right, stand by. When, uh, when putting the screws in, I think two duggers is enough. You can get away with three duggers, but any more than four, if you do five or six duggers, that's far too much. So two duggers is enough. Let's just show you. Oh, I made a mess of that. That was three duggers then. Let's try again. Let's say any more than three and you're pushing your luck. Two is ideal. There you go, two duggers, perfect. And then on the top, I've noticed when you're going into the end grain, don't want any duggers at all. You just rip the threads out. Just uh, spin, the, spin the screw. <laughs> Well, what do you think? That's not the work surface that goes on the top, obviously. In fact, let me just put you down for a second. Let me take that off. So that's not the work surface that's going on the top. That's just uh, an end board I've been using. So here's a piece of, of the work surface on the other side. So that's roughly what it will look like when it's in place. Um, yeah, there's little screws in there that I need to take out the wall. I haven't done that this side yet, so that just wants pushing in. Yeah, what do you think of that? That's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad at all. I think that works, so it's not going there. There, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's not too bad, is it? Something on the wall, it's catching on at the back there. I'm not sure, it's catching on something underneath. Yeah, that's uh, roughly what it would look like. Not too bad at all, okay? not too shabby. Yeah, look at that. I know it's only got half a work top on, but you know. And then this side, you've got the work top here. Look, um, I'm not gonna fix the work top in just yet until I've, um, I need to get something to protect the surface from obviously hot pans and, um, and the hot water and all that sort of stuff. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll go to um, a local B&Q, um, similar to a Lowe's in America, I suppose. Um, go to the local B&Q, uh, find out what they recommend for oak to uh, waterproof it, um, as, as, as that's where I got the work tops from. So there'll be something. So it'll either be an oil or a varnish or something like that, but I'll, I'll get whatever they recommend and I'll, uh, I'll use that. And I'll do all the work surfaces while they're off, off the units. I'll even do inside the gaps here where the sink is inside and the back edge and underneath. I'll do all of it, all both ends and all that sort of stuff as well. I'll do the lot um, and then I'll fix it in place permanently then. So, but yeah, it's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. Um, I've got one set of handles for this side. I need to get another set because um, Mr. Idiot here, going back to Dugger Duggers. See, there's a hole in the end of that one. Look, see the hole? 
Yeah, too many dugger duggers. Snap the screw off, look. Yeah, so the, screw, the rest of the screw is inside that handle from one of the drawers. So, too many dugger duggers on the screwdriver. Um, like I said, two dugger duggers seems to be good. Three and a push, four is probably too many. Um, five or six snap screws. So, there you go. Not looking too bad, actually. Yeah, quite happy with that. Need to do a minor, bit of minor adjustment with the uh, the end panels just to make them sit straight. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll trim a little. I'll measure exactly what I need to do to get them to sit properly. And then that's what I'll do. This one's not too bad, looks so like I can make that sit there now. Look. That sits almost perfect in there now, like if you can see that. Can you see that? Well, it did almost sit perfect until it fell over. Anyway, I'll just hold it in place then for you. That's not too bad. Not exactly perfect in place, but once I've around about there somewhere, I think, you know, and then I'll screw that from the back side. That'll be perfect. And I'll do the same for this side as well. I'll get this side sorted and I'll screw it in from the back side. So from the front here, you won't see any screws at all. Move that out of the way before it falls over again. Um, also, I'm going to have some work surface left. I'm going to have lots of this left. So I'm thinking of making a couple of cutting boards. So I'll probably have half a dozen cutting boards for sale in a couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. And what I'm saying with this is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to the shape of the sink. Um, so the outside will be pretty much the same size as the outside of the sink. And then the inside of it, I'll route out so it sits uh, couple of centimetres in so it's a couple of centimetres above and a couple of centimetres inside the sink and then I'll route out on the side a couple of finger finger slits so you can get your fingers in same as a chopping board really and that that then will become my chopping board and also my draining board um, so that when I wash up I'll put the chopping board to one side and I'll wash up onto it and I'll, I'll have a tea towel or something on top of it or something or other I, don't, I haven't made my mind up yet so there's no actual draining board in the boat but I don't intend to have lots of washing up. There's only ever going to be really me and Lady PJ on the boat. So um, there won't be a great deal of washing up. And we're the kind of people that normally wash up once we've eaten, you know, so. Okay then, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Fabulous. I'm very happy with this. Very happy indeed. And now, in this gap here, need to decide whether I'm going to fit the oil cooker or the log burner. See, I don't think I'm going to get the, it's the oil cooker will have to come through that door there or one of the hatchways. And I don't think I'm going to get it in. I think it's going to be too big. So I need to measure it. I still haven't been to measure it, have I? You know, but if I don't use it, I don't use it. I'll, I'll use it for something else, you know. Right, okay, that's it for now lovely right thanks very much for watching I hope you'd enjoyed I hope you've enjoyed the video um, if you have please give it a, a thumbs up be much appreciated and if you've got something to say then please uh, comment down below I do really enjoy your comments that's for me is the far be best part of making the videos is your comments uh, and also if you guys uh, are not subscribed then um, please consider subscribing I'd much appreciate it okay so look after yourselves look after your families and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you, bye.